All right, this is gonna be a hard video to do without a script. But basically, all I have to do is introduce you guys to this amazing new... Actually, it's old. It's like uh, two years old already. It's just I turn it into an application. And honestly, it's amazing. And the best feature is that you can download it and try it yourself. And do what I do or have been doing for two years. One year in which I didn't do anything because I was in a hospital, but you know, good times, boys. And while I was in a hospital, I try to do something similar there, but like, it doesn't matter. I just scrapped everything. It's like, I'm being like held uh, against my will. So, uh, why should I care who influences me? It's mostly just me, sitting and doing nothing. That's, that's what has been very influential. But, if you're a free person, and you can actually enjoy the freedom, and you have free time too, like I do, um, maybe instead of just chasing for entertainment, you want to control or collect some data uh, that's kind of what this is all about I have my little entity button that's kinda how I wanna call them entities because the, it could be games it could be a music band or an artist or a channel or it could be something like food an activity, the thing you do, the thing you spend time on, still has influence on you, I would say. Uh, so I keep track on that. It, it's not very important. Food, 300 points. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I've spent five hours eating food. That's kind of interesting. Normally, one point means one minute. All right, so 16 points is one hour, and so on. And to earn that one point, you have to fill in this bar. Technically, that's the only way to do it, but there's also the hot girl 60-point thing that I do. All right, I give hot girls 60 points for an obvious reason. You can give any amount of points to anyone ever. You can break the system as much as you want. But you might want to play it fair to understand what you're being influenced by. It's all benefit to you. There's no benefit in breaking the system and sharing your stupid results with other people. Uh, technically, I, I could have just faked all these numbers, but I don't. I don't have to. Why would I? Why would anyone care, anyways? Uh, so I, I try to be as truthful as possible. I also even track whenever something hits hundred points. Each time, I note it down in my Discord, and I have been doing that for two hundred forty-four days. This is not the age of this application. It's um, when I started doing this, okay? Uh, technically, the first few days, not exactly. Uh, I still don't know the exact day when I invented this whole thing, or why did I even came up with this in the first place. I like started collecting points, and I didn't know where to put it, so I kind of created an application using Unity Editor, not Unity itself to make an application like this but just using unity editor you can find old videos me doing that shit it's it's pretty cringy because you don't know what's going on it's very small stuff here you can pretty much see mostly everything maybe not the con this console thing it's a little bit small but nothing i can do about that to be honest uh, it is what it is it, it's perfect though it would have taken me like four days or five days to figure out how to build this thing. 
all I had to do is just uh, download the asset. But everything else was quite a challenge to do, even drag and drop feature. Until I realized how easy it is, you just need to know exactly what to do. <laughs> Obviously, that's what coding is all about. You ask questions until they spit out six lines of code and it's like, oh, you should have told me that already. But that's what Unity is about. It's problematic because it doesn't actually have features that it just walks you through. If you just type in a health bar into Unity, where would you do that? You want an acid health bar? You can't even get that, okay? I had to work my ass off to get this beautiful health bar to fucking work in every single scale, all right? Basically, every single device, or you can scale it to whatever you want, it works, okay? Yeah, there's some cringe, fringe places where it doesn't work, you know, like if you stretch the screen like this, asshole by the way you're an asshole if you do that i do have to make sure that it's everything is aligned though uh all right so uh, that's nice right now how do you actually earn influence right how do you begin this influence tracking thing because that's the name of this application influence tracker very simple right why do I do this to begin with? Well, it's just, again, it's very interesting. It's very interesting to compare to, to collect numbers, data, very fun stuff, okay? Uh, not enough people are addicted to data at the moment, but eventually people wake up to that, okay? Enough of Minecraft, it's all about data, and honestly, I believe this little application can blow up. You know, it's, it's really fun and addicting and potentially very beneficial, you know. Uh, obviously, you cannot trust other people who just uh, spit out results at you and say, Oh, I'm influenced by this thing. You can't really trust them, honestly. Unless they actually do um, post videos about it, do the same thing as I do on Discord track every single hundred points so it you know feels uh, very reliable in a way and also they can remember enough facts you know you don't just have the influence but you also remember uh, enough events that led up to this high point of influence I should be able to re remember like 122 facts about myself right that's kind of an interesting thing as well I'm not sure what exactly is the ratio. I'll ju I just took a random number that's very easy to take. It's every one fact for every hundred points. It's like should be easy enough, right? And eventually, I will do that test. Potentially, when I do the YouTube rewind, I'll just try and remember every single fact that I can, and see what happens. I'm just very curious in that sense. So uh, this is. This is so much better than the fucking game. Okay. I will never stop doing this. Potentially. Maybe I will get bored. I don't know. But right now... I can probably do this for at least three more years. And maybe if other people are starting to use this... Uh, this will be very exciting. I'm not gonna lie. I never really intended to like published this as an application but I thought like why not right it would still be interesting to compare notes to instead of asking what is your favorite youtuber you just send me your data and I get to see it for myself and explore your data uh, I don't think you can actually open two instances at once can you yes you can so while I'm exploring your data, I'll be increasing my data. Very simple, dude. <laughs> I can do it all out. It's just fucking weird. I don't know. The way you access the, your data is... Uh, first of all, you press load. Here. All right, you type in load. And you type in a dot. Like that. 
all right once you type in the dot uh, it confirms the command I don't want to load anything right now because everything is loaded already but uh, basically when when you press load it picks up this file main file from this from the source folder and files folder uh, if you rename this file it will create a new main file when you close the application because you still have some data in there that has to be saved you don't want to lose it do you but yeah you can like make make archives uh, make backups send it to other people they can insert it, it play it as it, there's still manual work you have to do you can imagine this like a Minecraft map but instead of launching it from Minecraft you only have the ability to load and you have to make sure that this is called the main and it will load this specific file it will load main a file called the main that's what it's gonna do if you type in boobs in here everything will crash and uh, you will be very sad person all right <laughs> it's not gonna work guys but yeah you can you can sort of see the the way this thing uh, you know is written the way this data uh, you know you have your name you have points uh, you have the heat level which goes down over time and you have links and then you have full name as well full name where's the links though here it is links uh, well, we're gonna discuss all of the stuff here's here's my full name if, if you're wondering what the G stands for Funny enough, I'm not actually number one influence. Uh, if you type in top 1 to 30 and uh, end command with a dot, you can see top 30. You can type in from 50 to 60, any numbers basically, as long as you can actually find enough people or entries or entities that you have created uh, that have at least 40 points uh, you, you can even look at like 140 to 150 like it doesn't matter uh, it's very convenient so I'm actually at third place right here there's TikTok that I'm competing against quite you know consistently especially now that I'm collecting a lot of points I'll be clicking this button right here look at all these juicy points I'll explain that later and then you have Hearthstone which is destroying my life but I, I, I have nothing better to do card games forever guys there's there's plenty of people addicted to card games and I'm no ex exception to that so uh, if you have never tried it, uh, you might you might want to try. It's all about strategy. It's all about you know thinking about stuff and making your moves and having lots of fun. Honestly, some cards are really interesting to try and make work. But yeah, like uh, these things are influential. TikTok also very cool. You know. I have my reasons to watch tons of TikTok and ignore every single video that says TikTok is ruining people's lives. Shut the fuck up, man. You have no idea, man. <sighs> so now let's get to the meat. Yes, every time you click, this health bar fills up and eventually you get a point. But sometimes you don't get a point. Someone else gets a point. Uh, let's say 
I, I, I don't want to give anyone else my influence. I want to be as fair as possible. So I talked this whole time. I made this video. I deserve this this amount of points, right? How do you claim these points? You have to make sure that uh, you have selected yourself or whatever you want to transfer points to. You can select up to two items. Uh, so uh, whichever two you like, and uh, the other one just you get get the fuck out of here. You have to press D button. Then it turns into this trash bin, and you can click on things, and it will delete them. Uh, there's also different other buttons, like this power button that gives significant amount of pings or clicks to one thing. So right now I'm like at 158 percent heat. This is heat. This is kind of like the bonus for every click. Not necessarily a 150% bonus, it's just, you know, the bigger the better, usually. But, there's a catch, okay? Is TikTok at 60%? That's boring. Uh, I'll use Jewel as example. She's at 5% right now, I, I haven't checked her today. Normally every single day the heat resets, but you have to wait a certain amount of time. Like, at least go to sleep or something. Then wake up, the heat kind of goes away, mostly. Alright, maybe like... 20% is left over or something? I don't really know. I don't really care. This is where you can see a total amount of heat. Alright? It's not necessarily a plus every single percentile. I don't use a percentile sign over here. It's just some points, okay? Whenever you reach like 700, you really spent a lot of time today. Okay, that's that's all I can say. Even though that kind of happened two days in a row already. So I'm, I think 700 is just gonna be a normal day and I will just remove these as if this this is not even interesting at all. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure how to treat this number yet especially now that I have the application somehow it works differently maybe I don't know if you click on this you see all the heat so again everyone you clicked on today and as long as you're clicking things the heat will not go away but once you stop clicking for like 10 minutes when this thing gets very cold right here, which is minus 10, as, the, as cold as it can get. And it, it is now cold, technically, because uh, I haven't been clicking, I have been talking to you guys. If you click this, the heat will come back, because uh, it collected a lot of pings anyways. But it doesn't automatically ping. In fact, if I do this, all right, so, so again, you can select two entities at once meaning that it will split this time to two entities but I will just select myself because nobody else contributed to this video unfortunately uh, we're gonna click and this became X1 meaning that I will receive twice the amount of pings or this health bar will grow twice as fast Yes, X2 might feel better because, you know, it's two times, but the reason why I say X1 is because if you press this button, you can only see one thing. You can click any button right now, but this will also mean that uh, as long as G has 600 pings, it will ping 600 times while you're pinging something else. So I can ping Ari, and it will ping G at the same time. And when this health bar fills up, I could get point. She could get a point. This time I got got a point, and I even got a break point. I don't count break points every hundred points when it 
becomes over 10,000 because now it's just like too often do I have to so I do like 200 so I don't have to type in a new entry here to save my shit but you don't have to worry about that so I keep getting points but eventually she should get it come on dude you can do it here you go it's again it's kinda random whoever gets the point especially again if you have a lot of things it uh, collected in this I call it a ping table it just basically collects things now let, let's give Jewel some points it's stacked here again now it's x2 so it it grows now three times faster but now there's two people that can get points so even though there's more stuff to ping that doesn't mean that one person is gonna get all the points it will dis be distributed accordingly and if you collect a lot of X's basically if you fill up your ping table with stuff this heat will rise a lot faster and it determines very important thing of how fast this heat rises over here as well the you know single entity heat thing uh, so if if I had like X10 we could probably reach around 25 level of heat and uh, it will be significantly better for growing this number uh, the number also grows if things get very cold I think it grows like two two times as fast but it's just you know details normally you just use this thing and don't think about this stuff um, I can also check my links which I mentioned when I looked into the file the way links work it's fairly simple uh, let's look into Ari links uh, she was in Victoria so she has Victoria link she made a music video with Z, so she has one link here. The amount of links means basically percentage points. So uh, if I summon Z, he's linked one percent to Ari as well. I, I think, right? Yeah, and Selena Gomez too, and Katy Perry. So he made tons of, you know. Why is he 99th place? That's kind of weird. Yeah, basically made a, a lot of uh, music or helped make music videos for these uh, music artists that I adore because they're hot. Okay, was mostly the reason, but they kind of do good music as well. I enjoy the pop music a lot. And it kind of just, this is where I started. It all started with pop music. It all started with me jumping into Discord, starting to talk to myself. But I really started getting invested into these influences. And eventually it grew into this. So it's, it's kind of fantastic. Because I enjoy it a lot. Uh, so yeah, the 1%. So Zlay has 904, 1% means that 9 points go to Ari, while she gives 92 points to Zed. So it's, it's very beneficial to be linked to these big giant whales that literally just 1% of a link, which is the lowest you can get to, gives you almost like 100 points. It's crazy. Um, this is not necessarily like 92 points because she has some link value as well you have to take that away so it's around 9000 points so that's what she gives you cannot just give link value because then it will just start 
stacking back and forth it's kind of weird uh, so yeah you just give raw value instead um, so that's very simple you can't really link easily you have to type in like this link rez1 and it would it will link re will create a link with z she will take a point points from z to herself basically all right uh, so nothing really changed because the link is exactly the same as it was and uh, this is the opposite right now z will take ari's points uh, so first comes the main entity then comes the target of where you're gonna take the points from and the percent amount of how many points very simple uh, there's sometimes a category like school where most people in this category is gonna l be linked 50 percent because uh that's kind of how categories work for me at least uh, because you're representing a category you're also very much invested and linked to that category so anyone from my school is again linked 50 percent and this is why school has a lot of points but even has enough raw points 1000 raw points which is kind of interesting there's tons of entities that i did not create i just sent a lot of points to school and obviously i'm just talking about girls here because nothing else has influence from school times just you know just looking at girls it's weird okay guys it's it's fucking weird but it is what it is uh girls only have the ability to look good and maybe have a, a, an ability to sing and that's it you know this is where it ends there's some fun uh, anomalies in the data okay there's someone like J uh, Lauren Southern all right she's actually doing politics stuff which is weird for a girl to do but you know there, there's some interesting stuff to keep track of to be honest and i love this it just kind of gives you more awareness of what you like what you're interested at how much you're interested at who's fucking winning who's better than who you know but you won't really get a good enough picture of who's better just by knowing the influence all right this is why I actually evaluate things as well, especially recently, where I evaluated uh, YouTube channels. I gave some points here, and realized Andrew Tate actually is the best YouTuber so far I have reviewed, which is kind of weird, because he's not a YouTuber; he's just a internet phenomenon. But you know, I check out every influencer possible, so no reason to ignore this guy especially when he's such a good storyteller i mean i'm fascinated uh i also rate music and music is a little bit different from content but it all uses the same mechanic pretty much so uh i click this button and i start evaluating things so basically the value here will be the rate at which i click the button all right the faster i click the higher the value basically so if i uh, slowly click like this uh it will be around seven thousand five hundred maybe eight thousand wait if i start shitting on this button you're gonna reach like thirty thousand easy no problem uh the way i like listening to the music i only listen to like very exceptional spots where it's like really fascinating experience that you get from the music like you know you know what i'm talking about it's just the parts that makes you excited to listen to music is uh 
the parts that get a ping from me. And uh, that's kind of how I evaluate it. That's where the values come from. Now these values are old. Uh, they probably should be lower. I don't even imagine these songs are worth more than 2,000 points. But, uh, I mean, this whole system is just fascinating. So if you're not sure about the value, which is very interesting as well, of like a combination of the influence points that people have on you and the actual value that they have on you with how much you like them because there might be a channel that doesn't upload as much so it doesn't have a, a lot of influence but you really like that channel you might want to be aware of that you know so evaluate it uh yeah when you review the content you just like oh i really like this what would what, what he said or what he presented, or, uh, you know, this action-packed sequence, or whatever fucking happened that you liked, you just click the button, uh, you know, and you get the value, basically. Uh, when you reset the clock, the value resets as well. You also have to re-click the button. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to show you guys. Well, we could like click very hard and then uh, reset. It should go back to like 10,000, 5,000, pretty much, right? You get the idea. Oh, look at how fast this is going. Don't worry, guys. I'm actually worrying. Now it's four times. Oh boy, three times. It went all the way up to 18. Level 18 of heat. When it's over 10 points of 10 levels of heat, uh, it starts flashing basically. Starts going nuts. Normally it goes from uh, blue to red. But eventually just break all the limits. Um, I honestly think I just explained most of the basics. Like what else is there? Like we talked about links. We talked about just basic things, right? There's also full name. You might want to type in the full name. Uh, like... Have Rebecca Black. We could we could change her full name into. Uh, we we check her full name, her entity name. Black Rebecca, obviously. The most amazing one. Why did it not? What the fuck? Oh, there's a problem. This is not how you type in the name. <laughs> Even I forgot. Um. Black Rebecca, okay. I will literally have to retype it back because there's no way to undo your action, unfortunately. You have to put the this underscore thing. Then you type in the dot. And here you go, boys. Now she's black. Let's let's go back. Uh, again. Don't put the... I almost like... I, I was against like removing the underscore from here from the display, but it's, it looks better without it. But it, it is confusing when you have to type in the full name. Uh, it's just how it works. There's nothing I can do about it. So technically... Uh, any amount works as long as it's linked with underscores. Uh, any length of the name, obviously it's gonna look very ugly if it's a very long name. Again, uh, Lauren Southern is a good example of overflow. Not very nice thing to happen, to be honest. 
but it happened because it's not just she on the button but also her sister I had to put it in all in kind of maybe a bad idea but it just kind of fits I didn't set the most important parts which is you have to press load first all right you have to type in load you don't have to type in save though it saves automatically when you exit uh, the application but you you might want to be careful obviously so it will always automatically save there's nothing you can do about it so if you don't want to save something you will have to manually make sure you know to keep this back up and and then it will automatically save so you delete the other thing it's a little bit messy but you know why would you not want to save something like what's wrong with you man and you can always rename things like rename g2 i wouldn't i wouldn't do this okay i wouldn't want to rename myself right now but you you can do that I, i'm really curious what happens but i kind of don't want to know because it just feels like a lot of trouble There are more features that I didn't talk about. So when you're evaluating, there's a special button, Bash. Uh, you don't always want to just give points. You might want to take one point away. And it's exactly one point. One click, one unclick, one click, unclick. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, you have to hold Z button for that. There's special buttons basically. This is A, Z, X, D. And then there's also S that doesn't have a special cursor because it doesn't do anything special. Uh, it's the same as right click. It's the selection thing. So, except when you press it flashes because it's a fucking button. It reacts to stupid right click differently than left click or whatever. So yeah, you just it's just selection. Um, this is a power button. Uh, so when you want to, let's see, something makes you laugh. You don't just want to like ping something because they made you laugh. You might just want to press one button, bam. They get plenty of value from that, and you don't have to worry about it. I'll actually tell you exactly how much value they get. So right now everything's kind of clean. We're going to power myself, because I love points. And uh, we got 69 points, pings basically. So probably 70 pings. Alright, we just pinged one immediately and it became this beautiful number that everyone loves except me because I can't fucking get any no I don't, I don't care uh, I'm, I'm fine just looking at hot girls okay and yes porn is on the list as well and it's very influential ninth place very interesting I'm sure you have been curious about that as well. And yes, it has tons of porn stars too. All these names linked 50% because they represent porn. Very simple stuff. I keep track of everything, okay? Literally everything is the most fun thing. I'm sure people, when they start this whole adventure, they're going to be very excited. It's like, well, oh, I can, tr I can track how many... How long I interact with my fucking pet? How how long I'm interacting with my foot? <laughs> how long I look through the window? It's fucking amazing, dude. Everything. And again, a reminder, most of the time, one point requires around one minute of pinging. Not necessarily active pinging, but waiting for this clock to fill up and then pinging. Usually you're gonna get one point from that. Alright. 
what that's kind of what you expect on average if you get this high uh, heat level very high then things accelerate exponentially almost it's, it gets crazy but it's it gets harder and harder to get this higher so obviously I uh, you can't really break this whole thing apart just by pinging too much in one day but things can get really crazy if you can reach 300 I mean you don't you're doing some crazy shit to that one dude that you're reviewing or something. Uh, I This is pretty high. 182, and also no one else has it. Uh, I played Hearthstone today, and it got to 140. But I, I am trying to make this video, and it's actually a pretty hard thing to do. I had to do a lot of features before I did this. And uh, this is where we at. I'm, I mean, I'm very proud of myself. There's two more buttons. There's the lead button, obviously, which I already used. All right, I summon something. Oh, I didn't even talk about summoning things, but I think you can understand now. All right, let's summon Taylor Swift, boys. You press the dot. You enter the name. Press the. But I also didn't explain. Okay, I can delete. With the D button, I didn't explain how you create a new entity, and uh, this is how you create it. You type in a name that does not exist, and you type in a number that you want to start with. You cannot start with a zero, unfortunately. It has to be a one or higher, um, which should be fine, right, guys? You can you can even create a new entity and burn it immediately so it actually can probably go to negative numbers um, I'm not sure if it will crash the game or something but you can do that um, yes I didn't test everything but who cares so if you press barn it will burn one point but it will significantly rise the heat so burning can actually be a benefit if I burn myself significantly, like raising the heat essentially raises my multiplier, right, of how good the pings are. So technically, I can just burn myself and gain a lot more points in return. But most of the time, what, what's going to happen is you're going to burn someone and just forget about them and they just lost points. Uh, but if you're burning someone that is active, they're gonna get points. They're not gonna lose them, no matter how angry you are. And honestly, that's the lesson that I have to learn. Because there's n there's no amount of burn I can apply to Hearthstone. It will get a lot of points, regardless. And probably even more, the, even if I burn it. Because it takes a long time to just test a deck or test a specific card... It get it gets really fucking weird, you know. You get get hooked, just by you get teased by a fucking card. You really want it to make it work. It's not gonna work. Everyone else is doing way more broken things, anyways, and they're gonna kick your fucking ass. Basically, you're gonna get your zero percent win rate. Uh, I mean, it's harsh than this terrifying thing, but I have to talk about it because it's number one influence. To me right now there's no escape guys I'm screwed number one influence I hate it all right I pray every single day that there would be a better game than Hearthstone but you know the best game so far that I'm trying to replace it with is Elder Scrolls Legends but it's gonna take so many hours so many hours I'm still just I made like 10 videos about Elder Scrolls Legends so far, and guess what, it's 2900. It's crazy, right? And Hearthstone is almost at 15,000. 15,000. That's five times more. So what, I have to make 50 videos? What the fuck? It's crazy. But, you know, it's also very fair. Because the system is quite consistent, and there's not much you can do about it to cheat it, honestly. Despite, besides, like, yes, I can just give Elder Scrolls Legends 10, 
a thousand points. Congratulations, Elder Scrolls Legends. We just cheated. Obviously, I would never do that. So you can actually undo things by typing a minus thousand. And uh, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> All right, so we discussed every single button as well. There's no more effects either. We can also check what these things do because some of them are actual buttons you can press. So again, if you press this, you see your place in the leaderboard. So, oh, Elder Scrolls Legends is 18th place. You can see the links if you click on this thing. So it's linked to a Hearthstone, 1%. That's cool. If you press here, you can see the heat level or what place uh, you are on. You can see the entire leaderboard by clicking here. He, we already checked the ping table. You can see the pings. And here you can see the relative position in the leaderboard by clicking the name. Five people above and five people below this middle spot of 18, you know, plus five, plus minus five. To just kind of get a, an idea of what are you competing against? What is the equivalent influence? That's kind of cool as well. Uh, you can uh, type in the same exact commands in a way. So ping table would give you the ping table, and then hot ones give you the the heat uh, leaderboard. Then you you can do the top thing, as I've shown before. Uh, you can type in me get links gl. I'm I don't remember how to actually type the full thing. I always just use GL so you can get my links. I, I, I only link things to myself uh, if it's my life related because I've never I actually interacted with anyone, any influence out there in the world. I never really interacted with anyone. Uh, and most importantly, we never really collaborated. Uh, also, a very interesting thing just like an advice more or less you should be using triangle numbers what is a triangle number you probably know square numbers which is 1 plus 3 plus 5 why is it plus 3 plus 5 because it becomes 4 1 4 9 you need plus 3 plus 5 triangle numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 they're much simpler and they don't scale as fast but they scale fast enough and they're just super simple and sweet. Let's say if someone did 10 collaborations with someone or they're like very close friends, maybe it's level four, you know. If they did six collaborations, level three, three collaborations or just one collaboration, 1%. So it wouldn't just... Oh, like you did 100 collaborations, so you're 100% links. No, you probably would just be level 15. You can check the... Uh, actually, should add ability to check the triangle number. But I will not, because I'm an asshole. Uh, just, just do it manually. Just be a fucking loser. Or do it over the internet, alright? Just play this stupid game and memorize all the triangle numbers. Alright. So, uh... We're gonna get to where I want to get right now. Here we go. You need 105 collaborations and you are at level 14. Sometimes I use, like, the amount of pictures I get from a certain place, so... I checked out a Lamy at some point, and it's linked to a bunch of celebrities that have hot pictures. All right, tons. But then I gave up because this place kind of sucks. 
Uh, there's also Instagram as well for that shit. Uh, I kind of hate when there's a lot of link value, but there's not a lot of raw value. I kind of like want to hide that from the leaderboard. And in fact, I do, but not everything. If you have at least 10% raw value compared to link value, you just need 10%. So let's say you have 600 link value, you just need 60 raw value uh, to exist on the leaderboard. That's it. Uh, so something like Team Magic or whatever. Oh, no, no, no. Over here. I created this like long time ago. But it's so irrelevant. It has a lot of points. It should be like top on the leaderboard. But it's made out of people. And it's not... It's like 100% linked. It's some stupid shit. But I don't care about it, and it's not on the leaderboard, and it doesn't matter. There's something like cat. I actually track in link to to cat, to the concept of cat, but it, a cat itself, I don't like watch cat videos or anything. I'm just like interested who who cares about cats. Like Ariana Grande had a name cat in uh, her... Nickelodeon adventures uh, when you know her career was starting so she kind of gives a lot of points to the cat concept right now uh, the cat collected 500 points the doc concept is only at 250 uh, and you can see who is linked like PewDiePie Rebecca Black, Andrew Tate likes dogs. I remember that vividly as well. Todd Howard? Uh, I, I link Todd Howard because he created Skyrim, and Skyrim is all about wolves, man. And of course, wolves is another word for a fucking dog. For some reason, I even link TikTok to dogs. I don't know why. Because cats actually have like 20%. More interest in people are more interested in cats than dogs, at least on TikTok. But TikTok is a big place, and honestly, it, it really reflects on reality and what people are actually interested at. So, unfortunately, cats are actually winning. Uh, so, there's, there's some interesting data, right? Like, you can uh, start collecting or start even memorizing. This data is from TikTok, but I remember it because it has this link 1% to dogs. It's just a very interesting story, right? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's trying to get from the leaderboard, but the dog does not exist on the leaderboard. So it gets nothing but these uh, two values that I, I don't care to explain. I actually think I explained everything. Like... That is crazy, but there's also transfer if you really want. If you like made a mistake and you don't want to rename something, you just want to transfer. So I could transfer from me to Jewel one point. And uh, if I click on myself, this will become 12, 350. And she has more one more point. And I'll keep it that way. I don't care about one point. Fuck that. You lucky jewel. Eventually she's gonna get a video. It's been a long time coming, by the way. Uh, yeah, that, that should be it. Yeah, there's one more thing. You might, like, watch a video, but won't be able to actually interact with the system. There is a way... To ping using a command. So I want to ping myself. And uh, then you type in how many times. You have to remember that one ping is two seconds, not one second. So uh, if you watched two minutes of a clip, that's 60 pings. You have to again divide by two. Uh, you convert it into seconds, divide by two. And uh, I get to ping myself. Very nice. 
Uh, if you don't have anything active and the clock is ticking, right, uh, it will give you a trash bin because it will just discard all the points. Let's say you have been sleeping this whole time and you have kept this program on, your computer on, which is kind of what I do uh, forever now. As, as long as I can remember, as long as my computer was not broken or restarted because of stupid Windows updates, uh, I always keep it on. So uh, you got a lot of points, but you don't want to put it anywhere, so you just trash, you just click it again. If you don't want to trash it, just activate a button, this will go away. No big deal. I'll trash this just to prove my point of something. Now I think it's over. And honestly, this is like a very completed application. I honestly don't know what kind of features I sh I'm supposed to add. Yes, there's probably a help command would be useful, but fuck you guys. Just watch this video and you're helped uh, entirely. I, I mean, I can't come up with anything else useful to talk about. I talked about literally everything. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Download the shit, use it. Uh, let me know. And join my Discord, talk about it. All that shit. Let's make it big, boys. Let's make it fucking big. Minecraft number two. I want to be Notch. I want to get some billions of dollars. Just for making a stupid fucking interactive immersive game. Look, it's a fucking zombie. It's attacking me. I will ping myself. I don't... No, there's, there's no real action. There's no amusing, super cool thing. So it's not like appealing to children. You know, fuck that shit. Uh, I want to appeal to, you know, hardcore people who want to explore the internet. So, uh, that's what's up. And if this thing blows up, I mean, wow. I'll, I'm gonna be impressed that people are actually that interested in data and all that shit. Uh, that's the only way. And, again, you will see me using this whole system in, uh, future videos a lot is basically everything that I based everything on so everything that I'm inspired by uh, I don't I'm not inspired by research I just like numbers okay I just like experiencing things for what they are and not digging deeper for some bullshit so yeah I explained everything see you guys next time right right Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the worst case scenario, you, you might have some questions. I probably can answer them, or my community eventually will be able to answer them. So it's, it's all fine. I can end the video. See you guys next time. Damn. If it was easier than I thought. Okay, it took me five days. So what can I say? It didn't take me seven days. But honestly, the fact that I finished it and it's a perfect, perfectly fine functioning product, like, fuck yeah, dude. This is very nice. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, Alright, bye.